Well, I'm having great luck today. Since it's now over 100 degrees outside, I got a flat tire. And look, I even found the nail. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark, and this right here is my 2018 Camaro SS1 LE. And as you may have noticed, my weekend did not start out very good with her. Now, I've already got the stock wheels and tires back on, but if we come over here and take a look at the my race tires, what happened was, let's see, where'd it go? I did get a nail in her. There it is. So, got a big nail right there. Tire went flat, and... I'm gonna need a new tire because I can't patch this hole. This hole is a little bigger than what I think a patch will hold. And what makes things even worse is when I got picked up off the side of the road, I grabbed the pickup truck, I drove to my storage unit so I can get the stock wheels so I can get the Camaro back on the road, and the truck sprung a coolant leak. So I had to fix my truck too before I could even go rescue the car. I came to pick up my other wheel, and now I got a giant coolant leak on the truck. And that might break. So I just built a temporary plug because it was just a little cover on the radiator that had sprung a leak and I built it out of a hose with a bolt. So I actually got to go out and get some parts to fix that thing. And I also need to get some new rear tires apparently for the Camaro. Well, I got the stock wheels back on there. So we'll worry about the tires and the other stuff later. You guys are more interested. What is this car weigh? So there's lots of people that talk about car weights and you know, power to weight ratio. And I was kind of curious, how much does the car actually weigh compared to what the internet says? Now, when I look up on the internet, uh, Google says, well, uh, article off of Google, says that my car, 2018 Camaro SS1 LE, should weigh 3,746 pounds. Well, let's see how close we actually get to that number. Got to borrow some scales from a friend at Autocross. Ooh, fancy. And they're actually marked pretty clear on where you need to put them. So let's go put these where they need to be. So I went ahead, I jacked up the car, and I got about three of them underneath, and then I realized I probably have to zero these things out first. So I did all the work again, I pulled them back out, turned it on, zeroed it out, and I finally got it on the scales. I haven't looked to see what the weight actually is right now. I am going to take a guess and say that the weight is actually probably a little bit higher, because most of the time I feel like companies weigh it with like minimum amount of fuel and everything they possibly can, say that their car is lighter than everybody else's. Right now the car is sitting at three quarters tank of fuel and basically everything else is out of the car. I took everything out of the trunk and I haven't actually looked at the weight yet, but I got it on the scale. So let's see what it is. Now the internet says that this car should weigh 3746. Now if we take a look at our scale, we weigh 3833. So about a hundred pounds more. She's gaining some weight, you know. Also did some quick math on the calculator. Looks like we're about 54% in the front. So that means we got about 45% in the rear, which is pretty close to that 50-50 weight distribution you want when you're racing around the track. Well, I guess now that we know how much this big old girl weighs, let's weigh the race car. All right, and the Nissan Nada GTR is sitting at 2420. That's about 1400 pounds less than the Camaro. So now I need to figure out how to either lose 1400 pounds or figure out how to make 400 wheel horsepower. Or both. Hey, if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be putting out more content here soon. I do want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next video.